We are on two boat, Perak Zayin, Mishnah Aleph, first Mishnah in the seventh chapter of Masechik Tuba. It says a Mishnah. We're going to talk about, actually, in this, in this chapter, for the next few Mishnayot, about Nidarim. The woman takes a neder, or a person takes a neder. So, just as a so small introduction, a person can take a neder to say, I am Oser, your Hana'a from me. Let's say my neighbor, we're going to learn about in Mesechet Nidarim. We will learn about this in Mesechet Nidarim. My neighbor comes along too often and he bars my lawnmower, and I can't stand him. So I say, I take a neder, I'm Oser, Alecha, my lawnmower. I can do that, halachically. We don't do that anymore, but you can make a neder that's chal on other people, that Prohibit something to other people. So the Mishnah says, the Bartunura, let's read the introduction of the Bartunura. Al Hanat Tashmish Enanderchal. If a husband says, I forbid you to have benefit from any sexual interaction and intercourse with me, you can't say that. Why? Because he owes her that. He has to give it to that to her. He doesn't have the right to uh, free himself of this obligation. But what about food? So it says the Mishnah, Hamadir lo. Let's say he takes a neder that she cannot benefit from him. He is sick of her. All she does is nag, 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 nag. I take a neder. You cannot. I don't want you to benefit from me. Ad shloshim yom yamid parnas. Up until thirty days. If it's thirty days long, yamid parnas. He is allowed to. We'll see in a second. A parnas is a supporter. Establish someone else to support her. Yater mikain. But if more, you'll see v'yiten ketuba. He has to give her a cat, that's it, the marriage is going to last. So now, one second, what about food? He has to support her also. So the Gemara said, that's what the Bartinura, but Gemara, Parich, Imkain, La, one second, ah, Hanan Mizonot, what about money? Afapidim Ishu Badla, even though he owes her that. Ashrechan Dechal Haneder, the Neder is Chal, Kamot Kagon, Shemaspikin Maase, Yadel, Limzonotel. Remember, we learned, let's go back to our Chart, we have a chart. We said that in the exchange between the husband and wife, in the understanding between husband and wife, let's see if I can find my chart, right? He gives her mizonot, she gives masayada. So she could say, I don't want your money because I make more money than you anyway. But he can also say, listen, I don't want to give you mizonot, and you survive on your masayadeha. That's the idea. So the mission, so therefore he can say that, and that's why he can take the neder. So if that's true, then why does he have to give her a parnas? Umeshane, and the Agar answers, you're going to ain't must pikin the dvarim shaita rigila bahem bebeit aviha. Okay, that meaning, in this case, the money she earns is not enough to get to, to make her letter allow her to live uh, according to the way he's accustomed. So let's say he says, I took a letter for 30, for the next 30 days, I can, you're not going to get anything from me. And then, like, you know, the next day he wakes up and she's crying and he feels bad. So it says, Yamid Parnas. He could be my be Parnas. What does it mean, Yamid Parnas? He can't pay someone to give her the money. So that's going to be just his agent, and therefore it's his agent. So that's a violation of the neder, of the vow. He just makes an announcement. I took a neder against my wife. If she happened to be supported, that person wouldn't lose money over the next month. And so therefore, obviously, people who want to curry favor with me are going to support her, and then I'll pay them back. So... Up to 30 days, he, has, he can have someone else support her. But if it's more than that, okay, they give her again and ketuba. Why? To 30 days, nobody knows. There isn't ziluta, uh, you know, cheapness. More than 30, people are going to hear about it and it's embarrassing and it's ziluta, so the marriage is gone. That's One month he should keep her. Ushnayim, but two months you'll see Vitek Duba. That's it. Uba Kohenet, but if she's a Kohenet, i.e., he is married to a Kohen, Shnaim Yekayim. He should keep this going for two months. Okay? Shnaim Yekayim, Ushnosha Yotzi, Vitek Duba. But if it's an Eshet Kohen, then they should leave her for two months. Why? What's the difference? Because if she's a Kohenet, there's a halacha. If he's married to a, if she's married to a Kohen, he can't remarry her. He can't change his mind afterwards because she's a Grusha. A Kohen cannot remarry his Grusha. And therefore, let's like two months, the Ziluta is less important, two months, but if three already goes on for more than two months, you'll see the Tank Tuba. We'll stop here as we always do. We'll dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Arav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.